Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from darrenoneill.eu and Darren's Tech Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install cPanel or WHM on CentOS 7. Before we begin, please do like or dislike this video after you watch it, and please do subscribe if you find the video useful. Okay, so we're just going to get straight into it here, and there's a few bits and pieces that we need to do before we begin our install of cPanel. So one thing that we need to do is we need to stop and disable the network manager. So I have a command on the clipboard here that I'll just paste in, and I'll also leave a link below where you can get all these commands and just paste them into your machine as you follow along with the video. So what I have here is sudo service network manager stop. So I'm just going to hit return to stop the network manager and I'll pop in my password when prompted and next I'm just going to type in sudo check config network manager off and that will make sure that network manager will be disabled when the machine boots up. Okay next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to set a host name on this server so I just have a command here on the clipboard and let me just put sudo in front of it here. So sudo hostname ctl set hostname mysite.darren.com um, If you are using this in a production environment it will be your production hostname. And the important thing here is that cPanel will look for a dot and a dot. So it will look for two dots in the hostname. So I'm just going to click return here and let me just type in hostname and see how that looks. Perfect, and we can see my site that Darren.com has taken there. Okay, so next I'm just going to be sure that I have Perl installed. So I'm going to type in sudo yum install minus y just for yes and Perl. And I'll hit return here. And this should go off and it's checked and I have it installed already on my system. Okay, so next I'm just going to cd into home here. Perfect, and now I'm going to get the uh, cPanel in install script. And again, I'll leave all these links and um, commands where you can get them, so you just copy and paste them in. So here is sudo wget and the link to cPanel latest, and I'll hit return. Perfect, and we should see that here. So we can see we now have the latest script available. Okay, so next I'm just gonna run this script by typing in sudo sh and then latest and I'll hit return and this should go off and begin to install cPanel for us. Now this script will take probably maybe half an hour 40 minutes to run so I'll pause the video while this is running and um, we'll catch back up here in a few minutes. Okay so we're back here so my server rebooted itself after the script was complete so what I've done I'm just going to go into the terminal here and I'm going to run ifconfig just to get my IP address and we can see it's 192.168.137.150 so just check your IP address copy that out open up Firefox which should open now in a second for us hopefully okay and once Firefox is open paste in your IP address and put in a colon and put in 2087 which is the port that cPanel operates over Oh, I'm missing a one here at the start. Let me just correct that. I think perfect. So we just see it saying my connection is not secure because it's a self-assigned cert. So I'm just going to click advanced here and I'm going to click to add exception. And I'll just click confirm my security exception here. Perfect. And you can now see we're onto the WHM login page. Okay, so next we're just going to log in here. So we're just going to use root and it will be the password of your root account on your CentOS machine. So I'm going to type that in and I'm going to click log in here. I'm just going to click not to remember this password. Perfect. I'm just going to turn this off here as well. So you can see we're in here and there's a few steps left to set up. So basically the first one is just to accept the license agreement. So if be sure to read that and then click agree. Okay, and you can see we're looking for a server contact email address. So I'm just going to type in darren at test.com here. 
SSC. Now, obviously, if this is a production server, just go through the form your own, own time and enter any relevant information. So I'll leave everything else much as the same. For a secondary DNS, I'm just going to put in 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And again, I'm going to leave pretty much everything else blank. And the main network is this one here. That's fine. So I'm going to click save and go to step three. Okay, so let's just scroll down here. And I am actually just going to click uh, to skip the step and use my server's default settings. Let's just have a look here at what it's asking us. Okay, so scrolling down here. And again, I'm just going to leave everything as the default and click save and go to step five. This may take a second here, so I'll just pause the video again. Okay, so we're back again here. I'm just going to again click skip the step and use my server's default settings. And I'm just going to click finish on this as well. And hopefully now we should be set up. So I'll just pause the video again here for a second. Okay, and I'm just going to click to go to WHM now. So we see we're just being prompted for a feature showcase. So I'm just going to scroll down here and I'll leave pretty much everything as enabled. And then I'm just going to click save settings here. And I'll just pause here while this is doing its thing. Perfect. And we're in here and you can see now that it's fully set up for us. Um, so that has been how to install cPanel WHM on CentOS 7. If you encountered any difficulty while following along, please do comment below. And if I can help, I can certainly will. And please do like or dislike the video appropriately. And please do subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.